Loud Radio back again for 2014. It is definitely great to be back, but enough wasting time, let's get into it. In this month's show, I will be discussing the actions of some very brave Laotian farmers and a new official major investor for the country of Laos. The results might not be as surprising as you think. And now, the news. January 17, 2014. Dozens of Lao rice farmers in northern Laos defy armed police that ordered them to vacate the land they have been utilizing for rice fields for generations. The 50 plus farmers refused to move when policemen arrived with AK 47 assault rifles, attempted to enforce an order by Chinese owned company, the King Romans Group, to leave their rice fields to make way for construction of an airport in Tong Pong District on the Bokyo province. When bulldozers arrived to clear the land, the farmers that had been cultivating the land for generations formed human chains in front of the bulldozers, forcing the company to seek police intervention. Upon police arrival, orders were given to the farmers by police to clear the land. However, the farmers begin to raise a question as to why. Quote, why is police and military helping the traders who are selling the land away? Unquote. In front of denial and rejection to follow orders given by police, the police retreated, avoiding open confrontation. 24-hour watch of the land is being implemented by the farmers for fear of loss of land during the night. Reportedly, this was the second attempt by the Chinese company to clear the rice fields, which covers about 2,471 acres. The first attempt being in 2012, to which the farmers resisted the company's advancement, but no police intervention took place during that time. This was all brought about when the one-party communist Lao government conceded to the Chinese-owned King Romans Company 24,710 acres of land for a period of 99 years. 7,410 acres of which are to be dedicated to special economic zones. A special economic zone, or SEZ, is a geographical region that is designed to export goods and provide employment. SEZs are exempt from federal laws regarding taxes, quotas, FDI bans, labor laws, and other restrictive laws in order to make goods manufactured in the SEZ globally competitive in price. The current tax-exempt special economic zone in Laos currently has an international border checkpoint, river port, casinos, hotels, Chinatown markets, restaurants, all of which are catering specially to Chinese investors. At this time, compensation for the farmers are currently being discussed. The highest the Lao government is willing to compensate the farmers is 114,000 baht or 3,460 USD per 600 square meters, which is also known as Irai. No final compensation agreement has been met. January 30, 2014 Guan Huabing, Chinese ambassador to Laos, announces that China's cumulative investment amount now stands at $5.1 billion, making China presently Laos's largest investor, shadowing Thailand and Vietnam. At this time, China is also building a railroad linking its Yunnan province to the Lao capital of Vientiane. This controversial railroad will be built at a cost of $7.2 billion that will be loaned to the Lao government by the Chinese. This is equivalent to approximately 75% of Laos's gross domestic product. Chinese influence in Laos is not only worrying the oceans, but neighbors as well. Vietnam, quote, feels threatened, unquote, according to a letter from Vietnamese Communist Party to its Laos counterparts that was obtained by Radio Free Asia. Vietnam, Thailand, and Cambodia could also be affecting Chinese involvement with dam projects on the Laotian region of the Mekong. Chinese investors and developers currently have interest in four of nine currently planned dam projects on the Laotian Mekong, putting that region possibly under Chinese investor control. Environmental groups warn that poorly planned dams built to meet financial needs and serving little to no function directly could cause damage to the region's economy. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry's December visit to the region expressed concern over the matter. He stated, quote, No one country has the right to deprive another country of the livelihood and economic system and its capacity for life itself 
that comes with the river. The river is a global asset, a treasure that belongs to the region. Unquote. Amazing! People coming together for a common cause. Can you believe it? A small group of farmers standing up against men, bulldozers, and actually stopping them from stealing their land. If a small group of farmers can unite and defend their homes and livelihood and actually succeed in the process, imagine the power a whole nation would have if we were all united in one common cause. Unity is power, and with this power, we can start the process of change. But first, we must all come together. I support the farmers that stood up for their home. Due to their actions and thanks to social media, more people of Laos are able to witness this rare public act. Keep recording and keep letting the world know about what really is going on in Laos. To the land and especially to the people. Document, video, record, upload, anything you find that together we can show the world the Lao County's party is actually all lies. It's time to expose these lies. Mind you, the incident with the farmers, this is just one example of over hundreds that are occurring every day in the country of Laos. In most cases, those that try to defend their land are unsuccessful. The fact that this event has received so much attention may actually help the cause because I know for a fact that the Communist Party operates in the shadows and most of the wrong things they do are never documented. So in a sense, they are never known. Let's change this. Let's let the actions of the Lao Communists be known. Show the world. Show the world the reason. Why did the Communist Lao Party concede Lao land to some Chinese company that clearly doesn't care about what happens to the people of Laos? The people didn't even have a choice in the matter because the word concede means to surrender, give up, yield, and give away. That's what happened. The Lao Communist Party literally gave away Laos land. Plain and simple. You know how long they gave it away for? For a term of 99 years. 99 years? That's one whole generation. One whole generation of Laos land being owned by Chinese companies to do what they want with that land. And it seems to me at the moment, they really, 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 really like to kick Laos people out of their land to build casinos on it. Now how can we even let them do this? Why? Why? We're focusing on the happiness of tourists rather than the country's own well-being? That's what it seems like. It really does seem that way. And if we don't make a change, the lost people will no longer have a country to themselves. Oh, you got some money? Don't worry about it. Here's some land. You got some more money? Here's some more stuff. Here's some trees. Here's some animals. Here's some more stuff you could take from us. All you got to do is give us some money. Then what about the people? What about what? What else is the people going to have? Nothing. Because the Laos government pretty much gave everything away. This actually holds true to the fact because China is now the largest investor in the country of Laos. In my eyes, the country of Laos has already been purchased by China. Which will probably continue to exploit our country and further line the pockets of greedy Lao Communist Party members. In which no way any of that money is being spent on the country itself. The Laos government... The ones that should be protecting the country and its people are simply giving everything away. Our animals, our trees, our land, and now even our water system. What will the people of Laos have to themselves? Like I said before, the answer is simple. Nothing. This is why I urge you all, show the world what's going on. Show the world that the current Laos Communist Party government is not functioning in the best interest of its own people. Show the world that people are being kidnapped, killed, and being erased forever. You, you simply just disappear. That's all it is. So you know what we have to do? We have to show the world that soon, Laos will no longer be a country if the current ones in charge are still in power. Because they are just breaking up the country and giving it away to whoever has the money. Think about this. If this was happening in America or Canada or any other large developed country, the people would be outraged. They would be rioting in the streets. They would speak out. Of course, the behavior would be corrected because the people have spoken. This is how other countries operate. For the people. But why do we allow this to happen in Laos? It's because the voice of the Laos people have been silenced with fear, control, and death. 
That is why the people of Laos must unite and speak, bring to light the atrocities that are being committed on the people. The farmers that risked their lives to defend their land, they didn't have master degrees, PhDs, or possibly a college education. But they did more that day when they risked their lives to stand in front of those bulldozers than those who have degrees. I ask those with the college education, bachelors, masters, PhDs, to assist in being a voice for the Lao people. Now that you've had your education, use it to save your home and help those who cannot speak. You who are educated can make a change in the country. Be the voice of a difference, the voice of a new nation, where the well-being of all the people of Laos is priority and maintaining a country dedicated to its own people, your goal. Be a voice for human rights. As for us, the Lao Liberal Democratic Party can help. We can provide a means to give the people a voice, but we need your help. We can do so peacefully, and so we have been. We follow international law to reach terms and agreements with the Lao Communists, but our patience can only go so far. We cannot work with those who are not willing to work with us. Taking Laos land away from Laos people, taking homes away from families, and destroying livelihoods of our Laos people is pushing us to the limit. We have the capabilities to take up arms and fight, at a moment's notice, mind you. But this will not be exercised because we respect international law and believe peaceful resolution and agreement can be met with words and not blood. However, the Laos Communist Party's failure to cooperate in peaceful talks may make us reconsider our peaceful ways. Sometimes you have to slap the beast in order to get its attention. To the Laos People Democratic Republic, your name is a lie. Democracy is non-existent in your ways. It's non-existent in governing your people. We are the Lao Liberal Democratic Party, and we are fighting for the freedom and liberation of Laos people currently enslaved by the Lao government assisted by foreign powers. We wish to have the right to provide the people of Laos a sovereign nation to seek their own destiny, protect our motherland and borders, and to have a government by the people, for the people, to bring back national solidarity as one Lao. We urge the world peace-loving world organizations, and anyone who can assist and support us, the Lao Liberal Democratic Party, to fight peacefully, for now, following in guidance of international law to invoke a free party election process completed by the end of 2014. A free election process for the people, by the people, to choose a new international representative party to the world for the country of Laos. Honor your words. Honor your words, Prime Minister Tong Sing Tomabang. You stated that you would eliminate war from the people. Avoid confrontation with arms and instead resolve issue with peace talks. And the most important, the guarantee to allow the people of Laos to elect their own party for the country. Why are you not honoring these words? The end of 2014 is the deadline. Honor your words. After that, our peaceful demeanor may no longer be present. Same goes if you decide to keep talking and continue to do nothing. Stop lying to us, the Laos people, and the world.